Hi, this is Lynn Susak, and I am your faith coach. Okay, I've been wanting to do this one for a long time. If I had a church, there would be some pretty radical songs being played because the true message of and the power of our um, Christian walk isn't being preached by Christians with the power that it should be in song for sure um our theme song is christians should be more like we are the champions my friends this needs to be louder we keep on fighting till the end we of the world yes you heard it from you heard it here i'm using queen uh the band queen as my example of spiritual success spiritual attitude and, and not only that there's twisted sister with we're not going to take it that would be another one yeah, my church would not be uh, easy on legalism, easy on legalistic people. It would draw in the fighters, the the world that is looking for success, um, looking for victory, people that are looking for victory. You cannot, we can no longer go on thinking about ourselves as the poor, um, you know, just drudging through life or we stay poor and sick and desperate and uh, non-victorious. So um, these are the, uh, this is the kind of, uh, this, our church is supposed to be talking about victory. We're supposed to go to church to get pumped up and reminded that we're the champions, we're the victors, we expect to win. That's what Curry Blake talks about. Um, I've been listening to a few of his messages and they're very refreshing for the most part. Uh, then eventually he gets into, you know, <laughs> being not, you know, not being in sin or um, obligation. You know, he's a little, uh, I'm not saying we don't have to try to do uh you know we do have assignments that god has given us so um but i just don't feel i don't that this guilt trip is necessary that that people you know in the church put on you know that's just not part of our message we're motivators we motivate people and encourage and lift up we don't guilt them into service for the lord so uh empowering people is is the um only necessary factor giving telling us we can we have the miracle the miracles in us uh no need to uh force or or push or guilt people into doing this because we just need to know that we can and then you know the holy spirit takes us places and uh, I don't know why, you know, the the need, he seems to feel, um, I mean, it, it, I, maybe it's because there's so many people that need Christians, you know, coming out and, and, and having that, um, you know, freeing, setting people free. But we don't need to guilt people into doing it. We need to empower them. And he does tell and tell it like it is. The, the what I need to understand more and what most people do is that we have life the life of Jesus Christ flowing through us and how to release that out of our spirit into others and into our own bodies so he um, Curry does talk about 
um, that in one of the messages I'll try to put the link in this message because that is what we are here to do and to learn and to help others I really liked um, I mean he's basically one of the only people talking about how much power we have we don't need to add on the obligation because we um, I at least I I'm just I just want to get out of this freaking chair and you know get up and help other people get out of their wheelchairs and um, that's how I just can't imagine not helping other people once I'm free I'm already look at me you know trying to free uh, let you know how much I've already um, seen in the way of faith and you know that I'm getting somewhere getting results so the rest of my life would be uh, you know basically how could I not tell the world and, and, and minister to people and try to get the rest of the world set free from paralysis spirits of infirmity which is weakness and pain and everything so uh, that's my attitude and we're not gonna take it you know even though I have to use a, a song from the world it's still valuable because the Christians aren't coming up with those kind of songs that's what we need so uh, the, vic the victory is ours and we need to stir ourselves up that's what the Bible says that's what um, the, you know what that's the kind of song that stirs me up. I like the 80s music, but I like uh, things that, um, you know, I mean, everything is me. I'm just l listening to everything on a spiritual level, not necessarily getting fed worldly um, wisdom. I'm thinking spiritually anyway, no matter where, what I'm listening to. And um, another one besides those two, you know there's a lot of a lot of songs that you know really talk about how you know there's our relationship with the Lord in a way that's how I, I view them so um, anyway those two are sounds crazy but that's the way I would that's what I would play and I would put on my by my key what do they call that um, on the outside of a church marquee that uh we are the champions you know basically champion church something radical something that's really going to get the attention people get people off the um coming in off the streets looking for victory they're looking for victory you know not not just sympathy or uh handout no we want to we want to give people teach them how to fish not give them just give them fish we want to teach them how to fish themselves and and I mean like you know get healing and stay healed you know and prosperity and abundance and no lack and then passing that on to others getting off addictions and out of the power of Satan in our lives to you know the victory in Christ amen so I just wanted to um, put that one out there since I've um, been wanting to do that for a while let's see what I can do. so for eight minutes along uh, there's a few messages I've been wanting to talk about and that's one of them so again um, I just get so tired of people talking about the the stuff that is not really helping us get out of our um, entrapment of uh, sickness or weakness or di um, disability and injury and you know the traps of the devil so we'll we're gonna keep focusing on um, the things that are really gonna help and that's um, it's gonna set us free one of the things that I'm gonna be talking about next I'll just give you a preview of that I've got to keep I got to re-listen but there was um, just oh, there one other thing that's very empowering about Curry Blake's uh, uh, teachings and I and I'm trying to remember exactly how he put it because it's very 
important for me and I want to keep passing it on is that you are it's not just you're already healed it's you can get up now I can get up now I agree with that in my spirit um, I every day it's not like maybe uh, maybe today will be the day because it's already available it the healing is uh, we're already healed we're able to get up I want to just want to speak that out to a crowd of people that's the good news the good news is we are able we're not we're able to get out of our situation every single day uh how to get past the mental block um of whatever has got us stuck into this lie and not you know not knowing how to move our legs or whatever we got to do or get out of the pain you know get out of the spiritual um bondage of the devil you know the lie is all he's got and if you're sick you're believing a lie and i'm the same so i'm still um i've i've seen a lot of victory in my life and i'm looking for more amen thanks for listening remember well we are the champions amen